Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. In this quick video, I want to demonstrate you one plugin, date range, filter and picker. And this is one of the examples where the package is great, but it doesn't have visual representation. So documentation is very long as well as on GitHub. Same thing if you visit the homepage on GitHub, there are no screenshots or videos in the beginning. Actually, they do exist. If you scroll down to the very end, and here are a few screenshots of what the package actually does. So this is the tip for plugin and package creators. First show the what and then demonstrate the how and all the features with details. So basically, if you want to have this filter date range picker, it's very easy with this plugin. So here's our demo project with filament. We have orders table and we have this filter with order date. And if you click here, you see date range picker and then for example you can click last seven days and the table is filtered with order date with that specific filter applied and the usage of the plugin is extremely simple if you just want to add the filter without any options you just install a few vendor publishes and then you add date range picker if you want to use that as a field but we will use that as a filter this is the readme and this is the code in our demo project order resource table and then we have filters with our label order date you saw how it works for example if we uncomment ranges then in our table if we click filter and click that input then we have only one range of this week so this is how you can customize those ranges and from here you can scroll down all the various options the huge readme that i already showed you a bit a lot of things you can customize interestingly under the hood it uses a very old library called date range picker which is a jquery library so this is the home page of that library it looks very old with a lot of ads but it still works so this is a great example how you can use a jquery library inside of filament which is based on tall stack with livewire and tailwind so internally if we browse the code of that filament plugin if we go to package json you can see dependencies jquery and then inside of the main filament date range picker js you see import from jquery then there's also moment js and then there's also plugin cjs also imported which has the code of that date range picker so you can browse the source of that filament plugin just as an example how you would be able to use something else some other jquery plugin or library in your filament project just as an idea as a wrapper over the old jquery it's not a typical behavior but if there is no library better than the old jquery of some kind that could be a potential solution what do you think about this date range filter picker have you used it or do you have any alternatives and also we can discuss what other old javascript or jquery libraries would you want to see in filament Maybe I will search for adaptation or maybe we can create something together. Let's discuss in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.